What's up guys? How y'all doing? Hope you're having a great day. We're here with another video and this one's gonna be a Q&A because we've got a long road trip ahead of us. Yeah. So excited. Why not? Why not do a Q&A? I asked you guys to send me questions over my Instagram picture the other day and we got tons of them. We're super excited to answer them to just let you guys know more about us. So while we're on a trip to Big Bear for his little birthday trip right here, he's a birthday boy guys. 24. Woo! We're gonna answer all those questions. Well, let's get right into it, babe. Video. With me. Oh, sorry. Yeah. So sad. Yeah, yeah. First question, guys, is by Adelinda Modeling. And her question is How did you know that you love to? I can always go with the corny answer and say it was love at first sight. Aww, baby. But was it though? I would say that the moment I first said, Yeah, I'm in love with this girl, it had it been the first time she was about to go back. And I know that's hella quick. I know that's super quick. I do form attachments very fast. She was just too amazing not to love. I remember I took her to Disneyland and that's where I asked her to be my girlfriend right after my band played. I think we even posted a snap that Yeah, day. we did. I was watching the fireworks. And right after that, I was just like, this, this is perfect. This is great. Aww, baby. And so that's when I kind of knew. I was like, I love her. I would kiss you, but we're driving and it's yeah, not safe, it's guys. It's not safe. Don't do no that. kissing and driving at the don't, same time, just to let you know. At Andrew Finnegan. And his question is, favorite thing about each other? Did I start off because you just answered a question? My favorite thing about you is how much love you give me, the way you love me. Really? I always feel like so loved whenever you're around and I feel really appreciated and I never really had that. One of the things that I really, 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 really love about Sue is her little corazón, her heart. <laughs> I think she has an amazing heart, one of the best. And she, not just like because it beats perfectly, <laughs> but like because she has so much care and so much compassion for anybody and everybody. And I really admire her for that because uh, I don't know that much. At RXO Bell, and she's asking us, how did you both say I love you? Who said it first? Actually, I totally remember that moment. I like to take first steps. We were in a long distance relationship. That was after the first time I left, I had to leave. We were FaceTiming. I was just feeling it so much. Like I couldn't hold it back. I was like, oh, I really love him. And I really want to tell him that, but I don't know how he's going to react. I just went for it. I just literally said it, right? Remember that? I try to make the first steps. I wait for the exact right moment too. She just waits for any moment and she just <laughs> jumps in on there and says it. So I never got to say I love you first. I didn't even get to kiss her first. No. That I didn't work out either. I took over that. We were like watching looking... uh, She's Out of My League. Yeah. And, Very uh, fitting for us. She just leaned in and was like, oh. Um. The next question is by Ad Madame Christine and her question is, Sue, since you are married now, do you stay in the U.S. forever or do you plan to go back to Germany? We weren't really going to announce that yet, but I think... I mean, I think we should just announce it. I will be moving to Germany and we will be taking over the vlogs from Germany. Yeah, guys, we're actually going to be German. Yay! Just kidding. We're, we're not. I'm not moving nah, to Germany. Nah. I think I'll definitely stay in the U.S. It doesn't really matter if it's the U.S. as long as I'm by his side. So if he decides to move somewhere like Iceland, like he loves Iceland. But if he decides to move there, I'll move there with him. So it's not particularly about the U.S. It's just about being with him. Right now, we're in the process of making sure that she can stay in the United States. Yeah. Who knows? One day we might want to move somewhere else. Move somewhere else. Yeah, know. one day we might want to move somewhere else. You never know. But for now, we want to make sure that if she can stay in the United States, because I'm in the United States, that she can yes. stay in the United States. She can stay in the are you planning to have kids? If so, when and how many? Full transparency here. <laughs> See that? No, okay. We talked about it. She, obviously, what do you want, babe? As soon as I got married, you get those like mom feelings whenever you see a little baby. They're just so cute and adorable. They're just like so squishy and like, squish, squish. imagine you have like your little squish, own squishy squish, ball. Fish. I want a mini me. I want to wait. I want to enjoy these couple years that we have together and then we'll have a kid. Definitely have kids. So how many do you want it? How many? I would say two at least two? because I know how it is to be a single child and like sometimes I was wishing for a brother or sister. If there's a third then I guess I'll deal with the third but... You guess you'll <laughs> deal with the third? I guess. You know what? I'm on the same boat. If I gotta deal with the third kid, I mean... He can sleep in the closet. It's like hashtag Harry Potter all over yeah. again. At Valentina Sophie Timlin, her question is, how did you guys get to know each other? I looked at all your social media stuff and I made sure I knew what you liked, what you didn't like, what your favorite food was. 
Wait, what? Did you actually stalk me though? Because you never told me that. You never told me that. I literally thought you just like... You never asked. How do you guys make it through the long distance relationship? There's a couple things that you really have to focus on like trusting each other, communication is key. Literally, it is so important guys. You have to talk, you have to text each other, try to face them. If it comes down to us, we had a nine hour difference. We barely had time to talk to each other. He got a job. I got a job too while I was back in Germany. So we had like no time to talk. Still, we made the effort to do it, which is really important. It's not easy at all. I was working, she was working. She was doing the videos as well. And I was doing my music. So we literally had no time yeah. together. We had to make time. I would stay up till like five, yeah. six in the morning, go to sleep for a couple hours, then wake up for work. Obviously, you know, she ain't gotta stay up. It takes dedication, and if you really yeah. care about that person, and you really, really, really see a future with that person, then then go for it, and don't be afraid to, you know, make the sacrifice to help you guys stay together. How did you know that you wanted to marry Sue? I never really, like, think back on it, like, how did I know? Like, it's just, I knew. I knew that when I was dating her, I was like, yeah, I can see a future with her. That's someone I would love to spend the rest of my life with. Later, you start fixing your hair up. <laughs> so cute. When you know that there's no other place you'd rather be, but with that person. That's how you know. Favorite memories with each other. One of my favorite memories of Sue and I actually has to be when we first saw each other after months and months of being apart. Oh, that's a good one. If you haven't seen that video, guys, go it's... check it out. That was our very first vlog together. Think about it, guys. Like, all those emotions, everything I'm feeling, it's just all bundled into one i'm finally getting to see the girl that i've been waiting for i've been saving myself for hallelujah i'm finally able to see the person that i wanted to be with after all this time and it's amazing the next question is by andres is that like a spanish name andres andres i don't think i'm saying it right andres that sounds hot though what was the first thing you thought about her when you went on your first date with sue she's too tall she literally wore the biggest heels in the world and i i do i'm not the tallest guy i'm five nine wait you're five nine almost there almost at six feet oh, i almost made it can i have a 20 piece chicken nugget please that mcdonald's break though i'm not the tallest guy so when she Wears heels on the first date. The next day, I did send her memes of little people with tall. You, go, you did. Thank you, you did. so much. You have a great day. Yeah. Ooh, we got that Mac McDonald's. Woo! When are you guys going to do covers? Big announcement. We actually just got done recording a cover, so we'll be filming the video the next couple days. Yep. So you'll see it like up really soon. I'm super excited for that, guys. I'm sorry. I'm hungry. I don't know about you. Best physical feature. I thought you can't say my best. Oh my god. For me. It's your eyes. I love your eyes. You stole mine. Really? Yeah. I always say that. I say I love your eyes. Your eyes are the most beautiful thing in the whole world. Favorite amusement park? Disneyland. Definitely Disneyland. Universal was fun. Universal was I, really I, I, fun. I, I, I ain't gonna joke. Like, I can't even describe it. It's just Disneyland. Disneyland is... Mm, mm. I love Disneyland. I love Disney Disneyland. Disneyland has a special, special place in my little it heart. It does. It does. What places do you guys want to travel to? Oh. Oh I have God. a place that I really want to go to and it's called Bora Bora. It's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. It's just gorgeous. Then there's him who wants to go to Iceland. That place is beautiful. I want to go. Aww. All Thank right. Thank you. Scored. All right, next time. Score tonight. <laughs> oh my God. Do you both have a job? I do have a job. He uh, has a job. I don't because I'm not allowed to work yet, guys. I gotta wait right now. So I'm doing all the YouTube thing, editing and everything. He works full time. He is amazing for doing that. He put so much effort in it to just keep our little apartment and everything. And feeds me and gets me Starbucks and everything. Like she said, I have a full time job. All I do literally is get the mail, sort the mail, prep the mail, scan the mail, everything mail. Woo! The camera is like, I'm sorry guys, but. Sorry, it's super shaky right now. The road is really bad. Guys, if you like the vlog, go ahead and subscribe. Leave a little comment. Tell us what you think. If you guys got more questions you want to ask us, feel free. Let us know what you guys want. Yeah, to just ask comment us. it down below for us, guys. Peace. Bye.